Hello everyone, this is Akuchi, back with some more Dominion. I'm going to be playing in the 2022 Shuffle It Championship Tournament. Um, this is an annual tournament, a uh, lot of entrants, over 300. Uh, this is, so I got a buy in the first round. This is the second round match against Beach Homer. Um, yeah, so it's, I think it's like first to 3.5 games and, uh, yeah, single elimination tournament. So we've never really made it that far. I think maybe we've made it to like the round of 32 or something, but it gets, uh, there's a lot of good players who participate. Most of them, almost all of them. All right, so what do we have here? How do we draw? We got Tragic Hero and Shepherd. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Procession. There's no six cost action. That would be that would be crazy. <clears throat> but still using procession on like tragic hero certainly is good or maybe like underlaying or shepherd there's potential there do we have underlings let's see order of masons yeah probably although yeah i guess we use it to discard like copper instead of estates if we do Oh, we have, um, shelters. Uh, that's less good for Shepard. So, I mean, obviously we're buying... Oh, um, oh, hold on a moment. Obviously we're buying, um... <clears throat> Butcher here. I probably should have thought a little bit about buying that estate, but... Because we could, like, buy Cemetery and get that trash off. But whatever. It's all fine. This is a weird one. This is a weird one. <clears throat> like the end game is pretty pretty clear. We're gonna be kings courting tragic heroes and gaining golds and butchering them into provinces, all that good stuff. But the build is less clear. Probably wanna play with some underlings. Do we want to play with Weaver at all? There's no way to activate it, so it's just a workshop that can gain two silvers. That's not very exciting. Um, so do we want to... Yeah, probably do that. So two cards per favor. Um, so... I think I want to trash Overgrown Estate with Butcher if I can. And we can. Cool. <clears throat> so we could, like... We could gain an estate, right? To, like, stockpile some a coffer. And then buy a Shepherd? I'm... yeah. That seems reasonable. I mean, we could also do, like, the uh, underling. But 
but yeah. So we're gonna have like three victory cards. That's less than usual with Shepard. Hmm. <laughs> what else are we supposed to get though like we could get star chart or something like is that even any good Maybe eventually. Like, should we pick up a star chart here? I think I think that's a decent idea. <clears throat> like, maybe underlings better though. I think I do want to play with an underling. Well, this is bad. Very bad. Hmm. Do we want to spend a coffer for star chart? Probably. Because, like, a shepherd with no green cards is just really... Disappointing. I want to, like, buy a cemetery at some point. Trash my coppers, and then... We can just butcher that cemetery into, like, a king's court. Tragic hero or something. Gotta get clean first. It's unclear. Trash is copper against copper. You don't want to do that. All right, it shows us what, uh, what cards on top. That's new. Uh, I'd be happy to, to butcher a necropolis, I think. I, mean, I don't know if I'd be happy. It's a thing we could do. Okay. This is real slow going. Man, our underling missed the shuffle. I 
I don't feel good about this build at all. Yep. That's correct. Tragic Hero is the only plus buy. One like could run at me, and this is frustrating. So we could buy a Tragic Hero, or what I think I prefer. Is that we just do some trashing? And I can't draw my freaking cards! I should have thought about this. Man, I thought I was going to draw Shepard with at least one of these green cards. This is... Really, really unfortunate. I can't buy a Tragic Hero now, so what am I going to buy? We could buy a Procession. Try to target the Underling. Like, we have two of them. I don't know. We don't have anything good to gain, like, from the procession. We're just, like, super, super behind here. Freaking bottom deck and all my stuff. Yeah, we're just completely screwed now. Like, we can... Tr yeah, I, this is just awful. This shepherd has been so terrible. Okay, so we do have a lot of favors, so we can definitely discard all of our copper. Alright, so what are we going to put on top? Wait, is this order messed up? I'm not sure. So, like, we can guarantee a procession. Yeah, let's just try to have a really good... turn, right? What the heck am I looking at? 
I guess I can just play these underlings, right? Hmm. Well, I can definitely play one underling. That was a surprisingly poor turn from our opponent. Oh, um, hmm. Okay, so we have one card on top. We're going to draw one more card. I think this is fine, right? Because we're going to discard two green cards, gain a tragic hero. I mean, we can discard three, but do we want to do that? Because if we discard three, I don't think there's any need for that. Like, I think this works out just fine. Yeah, I don't know what the upside is. I don't have eight cards. <sighs> what a world. What a world. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm such an idiot. I could have king scored the butcher instead of the tragic hero. Now I can't even get another king scored. Wow. I am an idiot. That's awful. Yeah. Hmm. I just need more game. Like we mean we need more stuff. Like I don't want to trash anymore. Or one card short. Oh. Such a dummy. Man, I just super duper misplayed. Well, we're going to have to come back in future games because we played like crap there. I don't know. I don't know.
just think we don't have enough cards. I guess we can process the tragic hero, right? That's acceptable. Maybe. Yeah, so our opponent got the good turn first. It'd be smooth sailing. Although the fact that they haven't played with the Shepherd is means their deck might be a little bit fragile. I mean, they do have a lot of favors. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I should have used another favor or something. I don't know. I have a real problem here. Ideally, we process the shepherd. I think. And King's Court the Tragic Hero, but I don't know if I can afford to play like that second underling. I don't know. Yeah, and he gets to Butcher three times. Butcher Copper? What? Hmm. Yeah. This is just awful. We're just playing so terribly. Now we're suffering the consequences. Why isn't he trashing, like, province? Like, gold for province? He's gonna do a cemetery thing. It's not impossible that we win. It's just unlikely. I just don't think I have enough cards in my deck. Which is such a dumb problem to have. We only trashed once with Cemetery. It's a pretty nice looking looking deck our opponent has. I wonder if they'll get into trouble with not enough cards. Probably not. I wish these underlings were at the bottom of my deck. Okay. This isn't great, but we're going to do it anyway. Definitely not great. I mean, we don't want any of that.
Whatever we gain here, we're not actually going to be able to play. Yeah, this is just bad. So I want another shepherd, presumably. I mean, maybe. Maybe we don't need a shepherd right now. We can just process for it. Uh, we could get a ghost. I think that's actually probably worth it. I could be wrong. But we could end up in a position with too few cards again. if we do this. <sighs> so option one, we buy cemetery, gain a ghost. Option two, we buy Tragic Hero, maybe an Underling. Yeah, I think that's better. I guess I could have discarded even one more card. Hmm. I might not have another turn. I do have some VP at least. Yeah, we should have discarded um, Butcher Gold. Because if we draw Butcher here, it's just awful. Truly awful.
Your opponent's having a long think. So our opponent they get to chain king squares together, but they do have king squared procession. Uh, at the moment, they don't have another butcher though, so I don't think they're ending the game. I don't... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I guess maybe they couldn't do any better from the position they were in. Unless... Couldn't they have, like, processed a tragic hero, maybe? To draw up the king's court, and then they could king's court, king's court, butcher, and, like, tragic hero and stuff. Um, maybe they don't have any tragic heroes, <coughs> right? Maybe they only had the one. I guess our opponent just didn't have enough good stuff. Plenty of gold, though. Of course, we don't have much in the way of good stuff. Definitely should have used that extra favor. I am regretting very much having gold and butcher in my shuffle of cards. I may have to king's court and underlying, which is so terrible.
Oh, they do have another King's Court. Oh, right, right, but they didn't King's Court a King's Court. Yeah. It's a lot of processions, but, like, what are you doing with this stuff? You don't have any more butchers? You don't have any more tragic heroes? Like, I guess you're going to gain them. Maybe it was correct to just procession procession before you do this. So you can gain another butcher, right? Then you draw it up. I don't think our opponent has any more underlings either. So I think they're out of draw. This is a weird... Weird situation to be in. I just, our deck's just not good enough to win from here, unfortunately. We built terribly. We had that really big misplay where we played Tragic Hero without having any cards in our deck. I mean, we King's Court a Tragic Hero, which was just the worst thing in the world. That's a lot of king squirts. Our opponent has uh, nine favors. They should probably use a lot of them so they can just start their turn with king squirt, king squirt. Uh, king squirt, king squirt, tragic hero in particular. Let's see if they do that. Like, they can just perfectly set up their turn. If that's what they want. Right. They also have a pair of processions, so, you know, they could consider doing something there. There's just all kinds of options that lead to victory. I don't think there's any chance that I can pile out here. Could have a pretty good turn, though. Did our opponent buy any more Butcher? They didn't. Why not discard more cards? You can just set up your entire deck. All right, so we get a procession here. Oh, boy. Um... Or Shepherd. Are we trying to like end the game? I don't think we can do that. So we should probably get a Shepherd. Well, we don't need the Shepherd though. Can we, what about a weaver? What if we got a weaver and like kings courted it? So I'm thinking about playing Tragic Hero. Like, we could play Underling, though. Because we might draw King's Court. We do. Alright, sure. So we're going to draw 
a lot of cards. Pretty much all the cards, so... This seems fine. Okay, so now we can do... We can do a few things, right? We could do Butcher. So, hmm. so we can do Butcher into, like, Tragic Hero, King's Court, and we can use the favors to make sure we can continue to draw. Oh, we're not going to have actions. That's the problem. So we can't play a tragic hero and continue our turn. Okay. Oh, that's unfortunate. We can butcher for two king's courts. And a tragic hero. That doesn't seem too useful. So we could Weaver for Procession and Underlings. Can we win this turn? I don't think we have the actions. So we just have a goal down there. Hmm. Man, this is breaking my brain. We just need one more action and we don't have it. Don't know if we can get it anyway. Wait a moment. We can discard Weaver with Order of Masons, can't we? No. Okay, it's not a discard. Hmm.
Okay. So here's what I'm thinking. Let's just set up a ghost, right? I guess. Oh, maybe this doesn't work. Yeah, we can't do anything with the ghost. Like, we could get a ghost, but we wouldn't be able to play it this turn. Might still be correct to gain a cemetery, even if we're not getting a ghost. And we're going to gain two provinces and a tragic hero, I guess. I mean, another king score would be great, too. Hmm. So we just don't have that capability. Hmm. That's like a lot of green. It'd be nice if we didn't draw the shepherd, but if we... Um, okay. What's down there? I think this works either way. So we're definitely top decking the gold and now the question is one two three four yeah we have a four card hand basically so hopefully like the shepherd is down there I guess is my thinking along with some extra green okay um, not so much in the green department. Okay, what do we want to buy? I really want another King's Court. I just don't know if 
our opponent just trivially piles out. I don't know, we have quite a lot of points. Let's give it a try. So... Let's get the province on top and then... We're gonna use all of these favors, I think. So we definitely don't want that. Don't even need that. We can just keep on going, right? We have the tragic hero in hand. So maybe we don't need another one? It's hard to say how many favors we want to like use up here. I think I'll do this. We'll see what our opponent can do. We have a small chance to win this game. Our opponent does have two processions, though. King's Court, King's Court, Shepherd. Discarding one green card. That is not the most impressive way to start a turn. Our opponent could have really just set up the perfect hand if they use more of their favors. Strange. Conan has one more tragic hero, I think. Our opponent for sure has a lot of king's cords. They got a lot of potential. I think it's probably possible for them to win this turn, either through five provinces or through piling out and getting some extra green. Yeah, our opponent's just lacking in gainers. But maybe they can they can probably pull it off. 
with King to Butcher. Very intense first game. Okay, procession. Okay, that has potential. Yeah, processing a procession, that lets you gain a butcher. And you want to process an underling if you have any, but you don't, so... No gains there. You don't want to process anything else, do you? That's funny. I mean, I, I don't fault. I don't fault the play. That seems like the way to go. It's just amusing. I mean... Beachcomber should should not have played that King's Court, because you might want to butcher it into a, uh, a province. But, wait, do they have zero butchers? No, they have two butchers. Right? I think. It's a lot of gold. So with two butchers and all that gold, you should be able to get the five provinces. Seems like the direction Beachcomber is going. It's a lot of gold. Mm-hmm. They don't even need to play another butcher. But they can. Oh, they processed the butcher for some reason. Interesting. All right. So 
that with some poor play. Let's see if we can recover. Well, this board is awful. Uh, unfortunately, we have a 4 3. Do we borrow for which? Probably. At least our opponent doesn't have a three, four. Yeah, there's just no good way to deal with these curses. Transmute to the rescue. Sadly, the best way to trash curses. Great, and our opponent actually gets the three. Uh, and we don't see our witch. And we don't see four coins, which means we could have borrowed for witch. Hmm. I don't know if Worker's Village is worth it. Sure is, because Wayfarers will be free. I mean, at least our opponents, which also missed, but they still are in a better position than us. Like, we could mint all of this, which is interesting. Hmm. Nah.
Will our opponents see the Wayfarer thing? I didn't see it. Hmm. Should I avoid buying Wayfarer? For that reason. I'm thinking about it. A remodel is pretty pretty reasonable card. Of course. Whatever. Okay. I think I have another worker's village down there. But I could be wrong. I'm wrong. That's okay. It's okay. I don't know if I want to borrow. Hmm. I've seen better hands. So you're saying there's a chance. Incredible. <laughs> hmm. So we can remodel Wayfarer into province. That's pretty cool. But I think at this point, just getting a state Wayfarer seems pretty good too.
Wow. This is so bad. This is so miserable. Oh my god. Proper instead of estate, interesting choice. Okay. Um, yeah, I think we just want more spinning, right? So let's get Workers Village remodel. Do we even want to play this? Hmm. We drew a remodel, which is unfortunate, but we also drew enough to buy something. Um, I think Worker's Village is good. Uh-oh. I think we should stop buying things now. Unless they're province. Probably. What a miserable board. An absolutely miserable ward. Okay, okay. Please. Thank you. Okay, I think I'll just... Ooh. Let's do that. Wow, that's really inconvenient. We have a remodel down there. Hmm. Oh, like here we could... So we have five workers' villages. That's, I mean, that's probably enough.
Womp womp. Yeah, I mean, we're going to have bad turns like that. Yeah, I guess we could go more curse into copper in order to buy mint to trash. It's an interesting option. don't think we want to buy anything. Like, certainly we could buy a mill. It doesn't really hurt us. It might help. Yeah, okay. Brings the game closer to ending. No, 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 no. What am I thinking? We don't want to borrow for that. So, that's like all of our draw, isn't it? No, we have one more Wayfarer, and then of course a Witch. Maybe we have two Wayfarers. I don't actually know. Oh yeah, we have four Wayfarers. Cool. I don't think you want to be doing that. So we could stop here. It's probably... probably correct. We could buy another mint. It's not even that insane. It's a it's a little bit insane. We could get another Wayfarer also. Right, we could go Copper, then buy Wayfarer, then Mint. That gives us a lot more flexibility, I think. Oh, I could have ended the game here.
Because we can have five buys, empty the wayfarers. We're going to go up five cards, which is negative nine VP. Yeah, I think that works. Okay, that was um, an interesting ending to a miserable game. Pretty sure I was on path to like win that game regardless, but you never know. Okay, we got King's Court. The draw is a little bit weak, uh, but I mean, we get um, horses from Groom. And we've got some stuff we can gain. Not the best of stuff, but we have Triumphal Arch, which really encourages a Groom type thing. So, okay, we have a 5 2. 2 5 would have been great, but this is pretty good too. I think I'm happy to open Relic Courtyard. I guess what the path that sets us down uh, sets us down though is we might just have a bunch of coins, so we're gonna have to at some point just be like, all right, regardless, we're gonna buy something cheaper. I think it's fine. Like, with more money, we can buy Bazaar and Groom. Like, potentially, that's what we do. We have nine coins. Yeah, probably a Bazaar Groom is what we're going to buy um, on our next shuffle. Unless we get crazy lucky and we can buy King's Court. Or we get kind of unlucky and we don't have four in our th starting hand. Then we'll buy Fisherman. No big deal. And then maybe we will be able to buy King's Court. So... Okay, so it looks like we're gonna have four, then five. Well, maybe we get Relic, so that would be five, then four. Um... Yeah, there's no way to afford King's Court. We would need that, like, on our courtyard play. Which is not a thing. Okay, yeah, I'll play Relic. Seems fine to me. That's nice to have Groom at the top of the shuffle. But I'm hoping we can keep our opponent Well, this is not good. I guess we get another courtyard. This is not good. But maybe that means we can hit seven next turn, which would be great. Are we missing plus by? in this kingdom. 
sure looks like it. Which makes me wonder, like, should I be getting groom? Not yet. Come on, courtyard. Our opponent buys. No, they can't. They can't do it. Come on, no. Dang, 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 dang. Really wanted. Hmm. Really wanted to see that courtyard. Good thing I have a bazaar here. That was convenient. Good, good. Terminal. Terminal courtyard. I like to see that. Our opponent's not in good shape. Do we have a horse somewhere? I think we do. Incredible. Okay. Star chart would be nice. We don't need any more fishermen. Might still be the best thing to gain with Kroom? Unclear. Yeah, because then we can grave rob them into provinces, so there's always going to be some good stuff there. Okay. Wow, what a bad hand. What a terrible hand. I have two bazaars, two courtyards. And a relic at least down there. Maybe even another fisherman. What a terrible hand. Well, next turn is going to be good. So what do we even buy here? If necessary, we can use the grooms to gain estates. I really want a freaking grave robber. But maybe that's not the way this game plays out.
I would love to King's Court a horse. We have four cards to find it. We find a fisherman, that's okay. We found none of that. Um, okay. I wonder. Like, just how crazy we should go here. Those are our bazaars. I think we want to draw on. Yeah, so it is unfortunate. This is nice. Because we get to King's Court and a horse guaranteed. Okay. Okay. I think I want to get these fishermen. Oh, yeah, we messed that up. We probably could have, like, gained and played another groom or something. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, let's just get the six fishermen.
It's like the easiest pile to gain from. We should be able to end the game next turn. Maybe there was a way. Oh boy, this is awful. We, mm. whoops. Whoops. We, why didn't we top deck freaking horse? This is awful. All right, it looks like we're gonna get away with it, mostly. So we can groom for three estates, but the problem then is Yeah, the only way we end the end it this turn is if we can gain out all the grooms. And then the three courtyards. So maybe we can do that, but there's no, it's not clear that we can. Maybe we can. If we have enough actions, right? We can do it. Because it autopiles. So all we need is enough draw and actions. I think we definitely have the draw. We can definitely get the actions. Well, we get there with the horse, right? It means we just play fewer. Oops. And those straightforward. Alright, on to game four. Um, hmm, no trashing. Inheritance, though. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I mean, there is displays, but no, like, no good copper trashing. Although, I guess. 
Yeah, so we want to inherit um, Walled Village, and then we can displace into estates, which is really good. Or just Merchant Guild by a bunch of estates. Uh, do we want to open with an Exploration? Like, I don't think we're ever going to activate Exploration after that. It could still be correct, though. Because we want to hit Inheritance as fast as we can. Hmm... So I don't know. So our opponent's got a 2-5. That could be Tactician into Inheritance. Seems likely to work. Yeah, I don't really want to buy Silver, do I? Huh, interesting choice. Yeah, I mean, I'd rather do displace things, so... If our opponent plays Council Room, and we draw well... Oh, okay. I was gonna say, we could potentially buy Inheritance here. Not to be. Uh, I think I'm gonna get a gear. Gear's a good card. We need our opponent. Unlucky. Unlucky. What do we do with five coins? That was unlucky. Hmm. Should we get a council room now? Probably. I'd much rather play with hunting grounds generally, but one council room seems fine. It's just we have we're quite over terminal now. Wow. Our opponent hit inheritance. That's pretty good. Yeah, we're in a bad spot now. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We have a villager. Um, we might bottom deck our two coppers, so... Hopefully we draw into something. Uh, but we don't have the silver. So that's unfortunate. So we're going to want... I don't know what we want. I mean, we probably want to displace. It's just we don't have good things to displace right now. Merchant Guild is definitely pretty good. 
I can see that. I can see that. No, we don't have plus pi. I guess we'll survive. It's definitely not looking great. Now our opponent has no gears, so the fact that they're able to, you know, find to kick off is um, fortuitous. I think it absolutely did. Ooh, that's a good way to dud. But, like, they could have dudded. It would have been beneficial for me if they had dudded. Eh, partial dud, I guess. If they drew into their council room, that would be ideal. That would be ideal. And it looks like that's likely, right? They drew into all their terminals. Now they still have a pretty good chance. Oh boy. Well, I guess we can dead too, and we are capable of it. Hmm. I don't really want to have like this gear in the shuffle. This could be real bad for them if they don't find a draw card at the top of their shuffle. Come on! Come on! I get no respect. I don't catch a break. I cannot catch a break. So we have five estates. Um, I don't know how many merchant guilds we have. Probably just three. Our opponent probably has four. Let's 
That's fine. That's fine. I mean, I don't think our opponent can empty any piles next turn, so... I think I got really lucky, incidentally. Oh uh, yeah, so we do that, and that, and now we can do that. Cool. So we're definitely going to buy Merchant Guild Estate and what else? I mean, I don't even need the Merchant Guild, actually. What's the fairgrounds worth? Gear Estate, technically Walled Village, Council Room, Merchant Guild, Copper. Fairgrounds is just not worth much. So we could go with Harem. So Estate, Harem, Displace. That's definitely a bit greedy in terms of our draw, but our opponent should be drawing for us, right? So I think it'll be okay. Each copper will give me three coffers. It's pretty good, but oh, I'll abstain. So yeah, hopefully we find our draw cards. Because we have display serum. Maybe we should have gotten hunting grounds. Our opponent has a total of two draw cards in their entire deck. It should be noted. Wow, they found one. And they do have an estate down there. I guess they do have enough to empty gears and do they can they buy a duchy? No, they're one coin away. Hmm. Oh, also, I left, I left the Merchant Guild, which interferes with our opponent's ability to pile out.
My odds of drawing aren't very good. Our opponent has been so fortunate with their draws. Just incredibly fortunate. Six merchant guilds got played, though. That's kind of bonkers. If they don't dead, they can probably win next turn. Just, like, province mega turn. Yeah, they just need to play around my ability to end the game. Uh, which isn't too difficult. Because I only have three merchant guilds. I have five buys and displace. So. If they take any VP, then they can leave six comfortably. Six piles comfortably. That comfortably. I think I'd buy two walled villages and two gears. Probably. Maybe three walled villages, two gears, and a duchy or something. Or maybe um harem or something. Or you could buy three walled villages, three gears, and two coppers. Or three wall villages, two gears, a council room, and two coffers. That would be pretty good, too. A lot of good options. Lots of good options for our opponent. I really needed them to dud on one of their turns, but they just kept on not dudding, despite not playing with gear. Very unfair. We'll have to sick the karma police on them. That harem should have been hunting grounds for me, probably. Although, never mind, my opponent could have just... No, never mind. I don't know. Unclear. Come on, beach go.
Not a single gear. Interesting. Okay, we didn't draw our gear. That's not great. Mm, there it is. A little late. Anything interesting we can do with this place? So yeah, I mean, if our opponent doesn't dud, they win. I think that's pretty clear. I don't think there's really any point in, like, not gaining province here, you know? Yeah, we don't have the gains to end it, and in any event, we have a VP deficit. So. Not good. Okay. Oh my goodness. The dud finally happened. Can we win off of it? Hmm. We probably have... Probably have the gains, but our opponent can buy three provinces. I mean, if they do that, we can get three provinces and win, so. Um, tricky position for our opponent. If they take no green, they certainly lose. They take three green, they certainly lose. Okay, well, that's trivial, presumably. Think we have it? Um, I guess we have to buy provinces and stuff. No, no, not necessarily.
Okay. That dud came later than I would like, but uh, it came. And it saved me. Won me the game. I'm not going to complain. If our opponent had gained one province, that would have put me in a tough spot, I think, probably. Two provinces I could have, it looks like I could have gotten that. Hmm. All right, um, wow. Hmm. Okay, we have Guide, which helps the outpost turn. The draw is... I mean, we definitely want those encampments. If we don't get them... I mean, like, if we don't get three or more, it's going to be pretty tough. We can get more actions with Crossroads. Magnate could be good with Horn of Plenty, but it, it's like... Okay, so um, what do we want to open? 2-5 seems fine because we can open courtyard or crossroads and a 5, but I don't even know if we want a 5. No way to trash. It's been like every single game. <laughs> Ugh. Or like, you know, no good way to trash. But here there's just literally no way to trash. Hmm. Blockade could be nasty then. So should we open... Courtyard Blockade? Or Crossroads Blockade? Uh, oh, I guess I want to get to a gold kind of fast. So maybe we should open Merchant Guild? I mean, Merchant Guild's kind of nice with these two cost cards we want to get anyway. It's a little bit dangerous not to open Blockade, though. But Merchant Guild's the only plus buy. I think that's worth it to pick up a Merchant Guild. Yeah, Blockade could be real nasty. I guess we can just play around it. By just buying things outright. No, that doesn't work around it at all. Duh. Yeah, it's tricky. Like, if, if you just blockade encampment every turn... What is the opponent gonna do? Okay, maybe I should open blockade. I mean, we'll eventually hit six, right? Crazy is it to open outpost? There are decent two coin cards we want. Ooh, what is the wording on blockade? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does apply during the outpost turn also. I wonder if you just have to get. have to do the blockade thing. It's just so nasty, right? Our opponent played four coppers and bought silver. Oh my goodness. That's great news for me. Okay. So, the conclusion we have is blockade is really strong. 
So I should play with blockade. Well, I don't like this. Yeah, guide's pretty good. Uh, should I get a crossroads though? There's so many things I want. <sighs> blockade seems like a bad thing to get at this point. We probably want to blockade the blockade. Although that could be a problem if our opponent gets... No, no, not, not a big problem. Okay. Mm, crossroads or guide. I already have regret. I don't know why I did that. I don't know what I'm doing. Wow. This is this has not been ideal. Our opponent doesn't show any sign of actually wanting to play with blockade. Let's just get this started and see. Maybe it'll work. Interesting. Interesting. Wow, that invest play. I did not see that coming.
What a what an interesting situation. Our opponent can invest in encampment like again. Interesting. Okay. It's like kind of bold, but if our opponent inv invests in encampment and then they can buy an encampment, that's fantastic, right? One curse and they get three encampments and they've been getting all these cards since then. Like maybe they could have even done that this turn in the outpost turn, right? They invest in encampment. Yeah, it was guaranteed. I would have totally done that. Invest in encampment, buy encampment, you get three of them. Yeah, I, I'm. I didn't see the invest workaround for blockade. Also, this gold kind of not good. What a weird, weird, weird board. opponent sure is thinking. Thinking long and hard. What a weird board. Do I believe in Horn of Plenty here? It has to be with like a good magnate draw. But, I mean, that could be done with Horn and all these copper. Yeah, I mean, I think I believe. You play with, like, two magnates. However many encampments you get, and then a courtyard or two. So you got the crossroads. Yeah, I think you can make it all work. I think it all works. So that's unfortunate that we didn't draw, you know, anything. And also we drew two estates. Definitely unfortunate. Now we have a crossroads down there with no estates. Uh, we could we could call guide. Nah. Let's just pick up the encampments. Wow, I'm not interested in getting more than one plunder. I don't mind if I get zero plunders, but I mean, I'd like one.
Nice. Nice. Okay. Um, probably want like. Like, it could be Crossroads, except we have all three estates in our hands, so that's not too exciting. Although, I mean, that doesn't matter. Hmm. I think I want another guide. We'll get a second Crossroads later. Yeah, I guess Horn is probably the best thing to get here. Yuck. Uh, that's our gold, so... Uh, we could top deck the gold, but I think I want to use that gold. So, yeah, let's get a plunder and a magnate, I guess. What is down there? Do you have a crossroads down there? We have a crossroads and two estates. I think it's worth calling guide. Wow. Um... Hmm. Let's get a crossroads, because we might have like a magnate down there. I think two crossroads is the right number anyway. Maybe getting a courier would have been fine too. I can see that. We have quite a lot of actions available to us. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six total actions. So like two courtyards, two magnates, and we're still and like could get a merchant guild on top of that. I don't know if we need that. Probably not. Oh, blockade. Yeah, we can we can take one more courtyard. Then I guess it'll just be guides. 
or something with our blockades. Maybe a silver on like our last turn or something. Unclear. If I can find my Magnate, it'll be really strong here. We'll see if that happens. Well, I guess it won't be that strong. Um, probably want to stop here. There's not much benefit to continuing. So one more courtyard is what I said. So we already have enough uniques. We don't really need the merchant guild, I don't think. I think I want one more magnate and one more horn here. I don't think I want three magnates. Womp womp. That was terrible. I feel like if we get good luck with our two magnates, like, we can literally win the game here. I mean, it's it's unlikely, of course, since we have so much junk in our decks. And obviously we didn't set ourselves up for success here, but... I don't know. for those horns. I'm just not drawing treasures. Ooh, four cards. So, okay. What do we do here? Hmm. Like, if we draw our Magnate, Magnate with our one extra card, we win the game.
Seems unlikely, right? But shouldn't we go for it? Oh my goodness. That's six provinces, that's pretty good. Our opponent can win. Oh, hold on now. Can we win? Okay, so there are eight cards. We can gain seven. We do need to gain some VP, though. Yeah, so we have, like, multiple approaches here. Do we grab six provinces? It can be overcome, but we should be able to buy the remaining provinces. I feel like it's worth it. Like we, we reached this point where there's no guarantee we're going to be able to do it again. Crossroads is a really good card. Sure, our magnates are like worse now. Um, that's not great. It's also most of our states. I don't think we need to gain another crossroads since we have and we have one down there Well, this is terrible. I think I'll keep this hand. Oh yeah, I should like invest in distant lands. That'd be a fun move. I'm just gonna 
I'm just gonna play this play this encampment. Womp womp. I'm more likely to draw. Possibly green at this point. So down there we have um, a crossroads. Yeah, we can probably stop here. Although we're going to like guide almost certainly. We have multiple. Well, it's not great. All right, uh, so we managed to win those games. We'll be advancing on to the next match, next round. Until the next one.